Welcome to another episode of If These Walls Could Talk. Today, we're going to meet one of the more fascinating characters on our wall, Tallulah Bankhead. Tallulah was born in 1902 into a very prominent political family in Huntsville, Alabama. In fact, her grandfather and one of her uncles was a state senator, and her father was Speaker of the House of Representatives. Tallulah's mother died when she was still a baby, and she and her sister were raised by her grandmother until they were shipped off to boarding school. Tallulah won a beauty contest at the age of 15 and headed to New York City, where she soon began to make it as an actress and also as a prominent topic of the local gossip columns. Um, she created some absolutely legendary stage roles she was uh, Regina in Little Foxes and Sabina in the, uh, the Skin of Our Teeth. Though Hollywood never really took to her and um, probably her best film role was in Hitchcock's Lifeboat. You know, an interesting story is that David O. Selznick wanted Tallulah to play Scarlet in Gone with the Wind, but she did not film well in Technicolor. Also director Irving Rapper chose Tallulah to play Amanda in the film version of The Glass Menagerie, but her wild partying ways were well known by the studio executives and they nixed that idea. Um, in her personal life, Tallulah struggled with alcoholism and drug addiction. She smoked around 120 cigarettes a day and she was known for her very promiscuous sex life with both men and women. She openly talked about her vices and one of my favorite Tallulah quotes is when a doctor suggested to her she stop drinking and every time she wanted a drink, she should eat an apple. But really, darling, said Tallulah, 60 apples a day. Um, she was a groundbreaker for women. She wasn't warm and fuzzy, which is the way most women of her time got her head. Uh, she was a she was a very self-centered woman. She knew what she wanted and she went for it. Our Iverton Tallulah story comes to us via Henry Jostin, who adored Tallulah and worked with her many times during the 10 years that she came here uh, from 54 to 64 in four romantic comedies. Um, he said she would waltz into the building and plop down on the couch in her dressing room and say, it's good to be home. But Henry suspected that she did that wherever she was working. Anyway, Tallulah was a rabid baseball fan, particularly of the New York Giants and Willie Mays. And if the Giants were playing when Tallulah was on stage, Henry had to sit on the back deck with the radio tuned to the game and update her between scenes on the score. If they'd been playing really well and Willie Mays had scored, then Tallulah might take an extra bow that day. Most people remember her, if they remember her at all, for that husky, bourbon-soaked voice and her outsized personality. Drinking and chain smoking eventually wore her down and she died in 1968, spending her last years parodying herself on TV sitcoms and trying to polish her faded image. But in Iverton, Tallulah always remains a star. It's nice to know you, Tallulah. <laughs>